I have in my mind a, a, a news story, all right? It could be sort of made up or it could be real, which I'm hoping that you can pick up on and I can send this to you. And I'm going to write down uh, a few things that will come together to form the story, but I won't let you see what I write, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. No, I won't look then. Please don't look. Um, <laughs> And also, please, as much as possible, don't try and preempt any sort of images in your head because I'm going to ask you to, uh, to make some pictures in your head, but I want those to be absolutely spontaneous, all right? Okay. So let me just write some stuff here for the moment. I'll think of nothing. Okay. And that. No peeking. I'm not peeking. Lovely. Okay, I think, actually, I will also just cover these up so you can't read what they say. OK? Yep. You didn't read what I wrote? No. All right, so I'm going to ask you some questions. And yes, I would like your answers to be absolutely spontaneous. So let's begin like this. Imagine a screen between us. OK. I'm filling the screen with a colour which, to me, sort of sums up the story. So I'd like you to do the same thing, in a way. What colour do you see in your mind? White. OK, let me show you what I got here. I wrote white. This is good because it would suggest we're on the same wavelength. On the same wavelength, which is which is <laughs> uh, which is excellent. All right, we're going to turn this now from a colour into um, into a location. It could be uh, America. It could be uh, somewhere in Europe. It really doesn't matter. But I want you to form the uh, a shape of uh, the country into the familiar shape of a country where this story happened. What country do you see as you do that? Scotland. Scotland. Okay. All right. Now, is it just Scotland, or does it also incorporate? Uh, bits of Northern England. And bits of Northern England. Okay. Bits of Northern Ireland. OK, I'll tell you what I wrote. I wrote Britain. So, you know, bearing in mind that could have been anywhere in the world, it still suggests to me maybe we're sort of along the right lines, but you see it more sort of Northern Britain, that's where you're homing in on. Great. Yep. OK. So as you look at the screen, I want you to imbue this picture with a quality to get a feeling. Maybe the story is something to do with somebody falling in love or to do with a riot or a protest. I don't know, hot, cold, finding things, losing things. It doesn't matter, but just a sense of something as you look at it. Okay. All right? And tell me as you do that, what is that sensation that sort of comes to mind? Cold. Cold? Mm. All right, interesting. OK, have a look. It's cold. <laughs> All right, so take the feeling of coldness. And I want you to let the coldness turn into an image or something, a sense of where that cold is coming from, mm -hmm. all right? There's no reason why you might particularly go for one image or another, but just whatever does come to mind, whatever you see, whatever sort of falls into your mind, just tell me, what, what is it that's cold? Snow. It's snow that you see in the picture, which is exactly what I wrote there, and we clearly both had the same image. That's amazing. So just fill in all the pieces of me now. This is terrific. Feel free to make stuff up and embellish the story. What were you seeing in your mind? I was seeing the north of England, mm -hmm. Scotland and Northern Ireland covered in snow. And the story itself of Scotland or Ireland sort of freezing over, do you think that's something I just sort of made up or was it, or do you think it was a real thing that was reported in the papers at any point? It was a real thing that was reported in the papers. Do you remember it being reported at some point? Yes, I do. All right. It was reported. It was the whole country. It was 2000. In fact, it was December the 28th, 2000. Mm -hmm. There is one more thing that I wrote on the list underneath that. Lift up the paper, see what it says underneath. OK, it says front page. Please do not look at the paper for a moment. That front page, or the bottom half of the paper, has actually been staring at you all the way through the time we've been doing this, because that's what I covered up the pad with. Were you aware what it said? No. OK, turn it round, have a look. And you'll see your story written right there, in print, at the bottom of the page. It's been in your view all the time. Britain wraps up for the big freeze. That's the article, and uh, if you look here, just to show you, it's uh, Thursday, December the 28th, 2000. This is from quite a few years ago.